Parents pass a lot of things down to their kids, including their lifestyle choices. And a new study shows moms who live healthier lifestyles have a 75% less chance of having obese children. Nine News medical expert Dr. Camilla Sasson is here to talk more about this. And this study and the results are, are pretty eye-opening. Yeah, you know, I think what it really reinforces is that parents really do model a lot of behavior for their kids. Mm -hmm. And so what they found in the study is that they looked at 17,000 nurses, looked at about 24,000 kids after that. And what, th what they found is that of these five healthy habits, which we have some of them here, um, if you did the right things, your kids were not going to be obese, 75% less obese. That's a huge number, especially wow, knowing yeah. how many kids. We've got one in six kids in the U.S. right now that are obese. So these things really do matter. And so what the parents were doing um, that really made a huge difference was getting out, getting 150 minutes of exercise per week, uh, limiting your alcohol intake, so less than one drink per day for women, less than one drink, uh, two drinks per day for men, eating fruits and vegetables, so eating a healthy mm -hmm. diet, having a normal BMI, so having a good body mass index and a healthy weight, and then of course, not smoking. So those are the five habits, nothing crazy out of the ordinary, yeah. but really makes a huge difference. I mean, the numbers are really incredible. We were talking mm -hmm. about it before this. So for any parents, especially moms that are watching right now, now, what does this mean for them? What advice do you have? Well, I think, you know, what it means is that you have to do the, the right things, right? Mm -hmm. and, and you have to be there for your kids and you have to model that behavior. And I think we'll, we'll have some tips in just a minute about what you can do at home. But I think at the end of the day, what you do matters and the kids are watching you. I mean, I think about my two year old and she does everything that I want to do. Um, and yeah. so if I'm outside, playing and you know running around in the backyard she's going to want to do that right. too if i'm sitting at home and just watching tv and eating junk food that's what she wants that's to do true. Lisa. Yeah. example yeah. yeah and i was thinking the same thing both of my parents were were active when they were kids they mm -hmm. were athletes and so it was just kind of like well mom and dad were swimmers so i'm going to be a swimmer too because i want to be like them Absolutely. and this when you when you saw this study this actually struck a nerve with you and it you did. have a personal connection to to this. Yeah, you know, I grew up in uh, with a single mom with three kids, and so I would be at home by myself for one to two hours after school, and I would eat junk food all day long. And my mom didn't, you know, my mom was overweight. She didn't work out. Um, we had a lot of processed foods at home. Um, she was always busy, so she couldn't, you know, take me to activities or get me into sports and things. And so I was 200 pounds as a fifth grader, which is not obese. That is morbidly obese for a fifth grader. I weighed more than my mom. And wow. so, oh, we were both shocked when we heard yeah. <laughs> so, crazy. I mean, it, you know, there's a lot of things that you have yeah. to do. I, I took, you know, between eighth grade and, and ninth grade, I, I lost 50 pounds. And, you know, there's so much, st so much research out now saying that kids that are overweight have so many health problems. So they've got high cholesterol, high blood pressure, joint problems, mental health issues, low self-esteem. Those are all things that I was dealing with as a fifth grader. And I made that yeah. sort of commitment to go out and do something different and change my sort of life trajectory. Um, and I can't say how important it is right now. One in six kids are obese. Like they they don't have the ability to go out and grocery shopping, right? Their parents right, do. Right. So that's where your parents are so very important. Right. And that's why it's so important, I'm sure, for you now as a mom of two to yep. make sure that you're kind of doing the opposite, right? Making sure they get out and eat healthy. Probably a little too much, right? <laughs> so they're, they're at swim practice, they're at soccer, mm -hmm. they're at t-ball, you know, whatever it is. Yeah. But I think just, you know, just being outside and playing with them, I think even in this yeah. day and age, like it's just so easy to throw them in front of the TV. I, I know, I'm tired. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, but I think there's there's some other things too that we know can parents can do right away that will make a huge impact. So we made a little list for you guys as well too on, on um, online, we'll have it up there too. So um, choosing fruits and vegetables, that's gonna make a huge impact yeah. for kids, um, making sure that they're not eating that junk food, cutting out the sugary drinks, so many empty calories and juice. Um, a lot of folks think that's a great mm -hmm. alternative. No, so absolutely much sugar. not. So much sugar, yeah. no doubt. Even the, even the you know, 100% fruit juice, yeah. uh, not really, there's yeah. just a lot of sugar in there. Um, exercise as a family, just like you were saying, Christine, yeah. like, you know, if your parents are swimmers, you're swimmers, everybody goes Get to the pool together. Get on a bike ride, go for a walk, do something. And I think that's an easy way to also mm -hmm. have get them out doing things without having the conversation of like, hey, I noticed that you're getting a little chunky, which can be yes. so hard for a I child know. or like a preteen, oh, you gosh. know, to hear. So you want to be able to develop those habits early. But if if not, if they are starting to, to you know, flounder around that area that's unhealthy, that's mm -hmm. how you get them out. Oh yeah, and bike rides are great, and walks, and just, you know, starting starting with little bits, yeah. right? And then I think, of course, limiting um, your time. alcohol take, limiting um, screen time for them as well, and yeah. then of course, um, look out for vaping and smoking. Yeah. I mean, I, I know that yeah. sounds great, but uh, sounds, you know, kind of like a no-brainer, but yeah. we're seeing that in teenagers now, so um, teens that are vaping, yeah. and that's gonna add to their health problems later that's on. So eye-opening. Dr. Mm -hmm. Camilla, thank yeah. you. And good for you. Yeah, that's huge. It's been a journey. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it continues to day always by be day, day, though. Yeah. You're an example for so of many, that. So many of us. So we yeah. appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you.